sounds like a baby kookaburra, but I'm not sure if it is or whether it's just being noisy. Are you a baby kookaburra or are you just being noisy? No, <laughs> you're just being noisy. Unless it's a young one who's just learning to eat by himself. Do you want that little piece, butcher bird? It's probably a bit big for you, isn't it? Yeah, I'll break it up. Can you catch? Well done. Oh, you dropped it. You okay? Oh, it's a bit big for you, little beak. Oh, you got it. Okay. Here you go, cookie. Oh, that was for the kookaburra. I'll have to go in and get some more. Oh, you're a young one, aren't you? This one's more brown. It's a young bird. I have to go and get some more food. G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Pouring Your Heart Out. So lovely to have you here in the studio with me. Look what I've got. I've got so many things to show you. First, I made a new mould. I made a teddy bear mould for all those people that collect bears. And there's a lot of people that collect bears, apparently. So, I made a teddy bear mould. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're all different sizes, different depths, but relatively equal sizes, but some are a little bit bigger than others. And then I've also got these little, little balls. Um, I haven't used them. Oh, I used the red ones like in a center for a flower. But I haven't really used them for anything else. I'm going to see if I can come up behind you. Well, behind my camera. <laughs> Sneak up behind you. And I'll try not to drop them. Look. They kind of iridescent. Mm, like they, is that what you call it? They, sh they have different colours in them. So I thought they would be really pretty. They're only tiny. <laughs> Put you back on regular focus. So yeah, um, I'm going to try and use those today. Um, I've got red, light purple, blue, pink, dark pink, dark purple, a clear and an orange. So because I've got a purple, I think I'll put the lighter ones away and I'll put the red ones away. And we've got six bears, one, two, three, four, five, six, six colours. So, what I thought I would do, and like, I haven't done this before, so I have no idea if it's going to work. I've got a little bit of clear resin. Uh, this is the Platinum 360 Plus, because it sets up nice and quick, and I want to be able to do something in a day, move on to something else tomorrow. I, I don't really like using the resins where I have to wait overnight, because I'm too impatient, I'll move on to the next thing, or except for the blooms. The thinner resin works better for the bloom. So, anyway, um, I'm going to put some clear in. Because, see, first of all, I thought, well, if I just pour the balls in there, they're going to all run to the lowest points. But, and I want the whole thing to have little balls in it. So, what I thought I would do is I'll put a layer of clear in first, let it set up a little bit, then come and sprinkle the balls on. So, that's what I'm going to do. Otherwise, yeah, they're all going to just run into the middle like into the lowest sections and then the rest of it won't have anything and that'll just look weird. I'm going to put some alcohol in. It's my 100% isopropyl. I think it's really good to spray into these little intricate molds because it just stops the bubbles clinging to the edges and there's a lot of edges. So I basically just want to look exactly sure how much I need to put in but just so that there's a level surface there and there's no bumps and things, okay? So that one and this one. This one's the shallowest. Is shallowest a word or is it most shallow? These little ears there, they're pretty shallow. So I'll just put a little bit in him. The rest of them are pretty deep. This one's the shallowest. <laughs> All right, here we go. Spray the next two. So yeah, that's what I thought I'd do. Um, and then I'll have to have a little think about what I want to do next. After I've put the balls on, um, 
See, I think these really need a black background to make them pop. So, do I... Do I have I got enough resin? Do I put the bubbles on and then pour black in, but then the black and the balls kind of maybe will get all mixed up and you might not even be able to see them. So what I thought I would do is then put a little bit more clear on and that'll kind of sandwich them, clear on the bottom, balls clear on the top, and then black. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a fiddly thing, but I wanted to see if it works and if it does work, what it looks like. Because you know what I mean? Like I'm worried that if I pour black in on top of these, because they're so tiny, they're just going to get all mixed up in the black and then you, you won't even see them, will you? But you guys let me know. You might have a better idea of, of what can be done with them. Now, I just want to make sure that these little ears here, I need to make sure that those little ears will have resin in them so that they can have little balls in them too. And, um, yeah, I'm, I hope there's going to be enough room. This little one here, he may not have enough room. I may have to just put like black nail polish on the back or like you could if you wanted to you could just paint them with black nail polish or you could just take them outside and spray the backs with um, black spray, spray paint that would work too I think that's oh no you need a little bit more oh, there's a hair there's a hair in my bear I have a hairy bear get out hairy bear Put a little bit more in just so that those little shoulders are covered um, I think that's it I think that we've got a nice sort of level work surface now to work on all right so I'm going to leave it at that I'll give it a real quick little torch not too much because I don't want to burn my mold fuse it to my resin all right so now um, we just have to wait until that gets a bit tacky because, I mean, you don't want to pour them in now. That's going to sink down into, into all the lowest areas, into the pores, bear's pores, and into his belly and things like that. So we'll wait until that sets up a bit, maybe two or three hours, and then I'll come back and do the next step. Um, I wonder, actually, I wonder to say, if, I wonder if I can, when, when it's tacky, put the balls on and, like, press them in into the clear and then put just a coat of black on hmm I don't know I don't know I'll have to have a think about it anyway I've got a couple of hours to think about it so yeah get my glove off <laughs> oops I can't get my glove off all right I'll see you soon so it's been a couple of hours let's just test this and see if it's ready it has it leaves a like a little stringy bit there so I think I think that'll be fine um, the little balls should stick on that nicely so I'll pop you up on the tripod righto can everybody see Now, let's see how we're how we going to do this. Probably need a little spoon, hey? Here we go. Sprinkle them on. Actually, I might hold it up here. <laughs> Just be easier. I have no idea what this is going to look like, you guys, or even if it's going to work. This is probably the most difficult one, this little bear, because it's so shallow. Well, there's actually different size balls in there. I didn't even notice that. There's some bigger ones and some small. Oh, look, there's a little stray red one. Let's get you out. Whoops, he's stuck. He's stuck in the resin. Are you going to come out? Come on, you don't belong in there. There you go. All right, now I'm just going to kind of tap them down. I'm not touching the resin, I'm just touching the, 
the balls on the top of the resin. I'm just I'm going to push them down a little bit. Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to have much luck putting a lot of black onto this one. I'll just leave those sort of excess for now. I'll get the others done. Make sure I've got everything covered. I think you're covered. Oops, I can actually, I've got to be careful where I'm pushing because I'm making like a little dent. I'm going to make sure I've got enough room for the, the black. I would have to start the most difficult one, wouldn't I? All right. Alright, is that one done? <laughs> I used nearly a whole container. Gosh, these are really pretty. I might just, um, where's my heat gun? So I'm just going to torch that a little bit, see if I can kind of melt that back down again where I stuck my toothpick into it. There we go. Alright, here we go with the purple. Okay, that's much easier. <laughs> It's spreading into his ears. That's perfect. That's what I wanted. I'll bring you down later on so you can have a look and see the different sizes of them. It might be easier just to actually do this, I guess, <laughs> rather than trying to spoon them in. As long as I'm careful and I don't make too much of a mess. Okay. I might use my um, little silicone thingy. This one's got a flat section on it, so I can just tap them down ever so gently into that resin. See, it's much easier when with this one; it's a bit deeper. I should just put the whole lot in, shouldn't I? <laughs> There's no point keeping a tiny little... What do I do with that now? It's such a waste of packaging. I wish people could package better. I'll try and find something to do with, with that. Hopefully we'll, be able to, hopefully we'll be able to see the black like behind these and I haven't put too much in there. But I don't know. Oh, there's a stray bit of purple in that one. You'll have to come out because putting clear in this one. Oh gosh, now I've got two in there. Get out! Right, this one's going to have the clear in it. It's not such a big bear, so I might not need all of those. Oh, that looks really 3D. Let's spread that out a bit. I hope I haven't left it too long. As long as I get some pushed in. I did check it a little while ago and it was still quite wet. So I thought I'll just leave it a bit longer. This is the biggest bear out of all of them. So he may need them all but again I'm not sure whether or not um, and I know I say I'm not sure a lot because I'm not I've never done this before I don't know whether I should leave like more space for black black like, so that you can see the black through or whether the blue will just cover the whole thing you know because you might need the might need to see the black to get that sort of um, iridescent kind of a look. I don't know why I used so much of the purple in that one. Maybe it had more, uh, less in it or more in it. Let's push them down. There, there are still some loose ones on top that I can feel. I'm rolling my finger across the loose ones. Yeah, I think I probably could have come a little bit earlier to do this. It would have stuck just a little bit better. 
but they are sticking and then there's just a few over the top because I'm making them quite thick. Push them down. That's that one. Lucky last. Pale pink. He's only a little bear, this one. He won't need very much. Has anyone used these little colourful balls before? They might be called, I'm trying to think what they were called. They could be caviar, because they look like caviar, little caviar balls. Mm, I'll try and find the link. I got them on AliExpress. I'll have to go back into my AliExpress account and see if I can find the link. Um, if I find it, I'll put it in the description down below. Just use that little drop down box with the arrow and you'll see my description. <laughs> I hope I haven't put too many on there. <gasps> Doesn't matter. All right. Oh, as long as I don't get mixed in, you don't belong in there. Get out. All right, so that's it. Um, I'm just going to go and mix up some black resin now. And these can have a chance to sort of soak in a bit. I wonder what would happen if I heated them. <laughs> Probably not much. All right, I'm going to mix up a tiny bit of black resin and um, we'll give them a, a top coat. I forgot I was going to take you down for a close-up so that you could see the, the colours. Oops, wrong one. Hmm trying to focus come on see all the different colors there hopefully hopefully they'll refract a bit of light and we'll be able to see different colors I guess some will be better than others not much going on in that one all right, I'll mix up my resin. I'll be right back. So I'm going to use the Lores Midnight Black. Got a little bit left in there. Not much. I'm scraping the bottom now. Okay, so we'll give that a mix. Um made up about two ounces of resin, 60 grams ish. Probably way too much, but it's difficult mixing up like a tiny little bit, you know. I think you need to have a good amount just to actually be able to move the resin around in the cup. Otherwise you're just sort of scraping the bottom of the cup and I don't know if it really mixes all that well. So yeah, I think under two ounces or 60 grams is a little bit difficult to mix, so I tend to mix that amount. And then if I've got any left, I can do something else with it. I might pour it in my seafoam mold and make some black lacing. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Right, now I'm just going to pop it in my little paper cup. Just a little bit. And it'll just be easier for me to pour it. I guess if there's any little balls stuck on the sides, they're going to get stuck in the side of the resin as well. I'll just have to sand them off. Okay, here we go. I hope this works. I have no idea what this is going to look like. I hope it'll be pretty, otherwise I've just wasted all my, my time and my energy and my money. Now that one doesn't need very much, so let's just leave it there. And let this self-level. And we'll come back to it if I need to. This one, just going to help it along. Because it's very full. It's a really cute bear, it's just, <laughs> it's a little bit shallower, so it depends on what you want to do with it. 
I was going to do something different in each of them, like put dried flowers or crystals and you know kinds of little things and then I thought oh I just want to try these just all different colors and see how that turns out I hope my black's opaque enough so these would make I think cute keychains um, fridge magnets I don't know, what else would you use them for? They're probably a little bit bigger for pendants, but really sweet for kids. Or someone that collects teddy bears. <laughs> I have a friend that collects teddy bears. She's got so many of them. All right, let's have a look at that. So I probably only used half of the resin I made up. So yeah, I'll definitely make a black, black lacing My new mold. Now let's just top these up. So that they're doming. If you want this teddy bear mold, it's in my eBay store. The link is down in the description. What have I done there? Oops, oops, I've overflowed him. I thought that looks a bit weird. I've overflowed him, that's what it is. Take some resin out. I'm just going to lay the paper towel down on him and soak some up. I find that's the easiest way to do it. <laughs> I definitely put too much in there, that's for sure. Tummy was covered up. I thought this looks a bit odd. What's going on here? <laughs> Way too full. All right, that's looking better. I'll clean him up. Um, now, quick little torch. Lots of little bubbles coming up from the spaces between the bubbles. So I'll have to keep an eye on those and pop them as they come up. Excited to see what this is going to look like. I hope it works. I hope it's pretty. It's probably going to be awful. All right, um, I'm going to clean up my mold a little bit, and then I'll come back to you. I can't get my glove off. I'll come back to you um, tomorrow for the unmolding. The time has come. They're set. Uh, same day. <laughs> It's uh, coming up to 10 p.m. So I wanted to get this out because I'm super keen to see what it's going to look like. I just hope it works. I'll be disappointed if they don't turn out. All right, let's start over here, since This is the one closest to me. What do you think they're going to look like? Has anyone got any ideas? I'll be finding little tiny balls for weeks. Anyone got any ideas about what these are going to look like? Oh, I'm nervous. All right, let's have a look. Oh, look. This is really cute. Oh, that's okay. Didn't know what to expect. Oh, look at his nose. It's kind of all magnified in there. <laughs> what color was that one? Oh, now I don't remember what color it was. It's pretty blue though, isn't it? Oh, but look, there's so many different colours in there. I don't know what colour he was. Oh, he's so pretty. Can't get over the magnification in his nose there. <laughs> That's cool. I'll put him there. All right. I'll have to go back and look at what colour I used actually on that one. I guess it's blue. Alright, what colour was this one? It's going to be a surprise, isn't it? Oops, a little bit of overflow there. Oh, not too bad. Alright, are we ready for this one? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is so pretty. The 
This one seems to be more magnified. Look at it. It's so sweet. Does it look more magnified because it's got more clear? This one's got a lot of clear as well though. Oh look, they're so cute. Why won't you focus? This one seems like it's got bigger balls. <laughs> or maybe they're just magnified. I, I don't know. I thought they were all the same size. Oh gosh. I don't know. All right, let's have a look at this one. Up you come. A little bit of ball stuck to the edge. A bit of resin on my silicone. All right, now, what color was this one? I don't remember. It was only a few hours ago. I don't remember. Well, this one looks similar to the other one. I didn't do two the same color, though. Go figure. They look very similar. But I didn't do two the same. Obviously you get a different look from the the black background. Oh, I'm going to have to look back on my video. It's really sweet. I love the iridescence of them. That's a side on view. If you look really carefully, let's see if I can focus. So you can see the little balls in there on their sides. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? It's, it's, it's night time now. I probably haven't got the best light. Look at that. It's giving you a better shot, isn't it? I don't know bit hard to photograph. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, let's do the others. Let's turn them around. Now this one, this was the orange, wasn't it? Mm. Uh, yeah, this, oh no, I don't know. Is this the orange one? This was the, the really shallow one. Oops, I've got a bit of overflow there as well. I just have to get that out before it... I don't want it to break my mould. It's got a bit of resin that's gone over the top. Hang on, let me fix that. All good. It's just a little bit of resin caught. There's a little bit there as well. You know, see that little bit of overflow there? I'm just going to trim that with my scalpel. Yeah, I did overfill the sky a little bit. Just cut that out. And that one. Choose a little bit there as well, I think. Let's trim that off. Easier to do now while it's Still a little bit on the softer side. Looks painful, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, anyway, all right. There we go. Let's have a look at him. Now that one hasn't got as much resin in it as you can see. So the little balls are a little bit closer to the surface. Look at little dinosaur eggs, don't they? They're so cute! So, was this the orange one? Oops, so pretty. Just a bit. Alright, moving on, moving on. Whoops! <laughs> I like this one the best so far, that pinky coloured one. Now this is also another big one. Let's get you out. It's a pretty heavy mould, this one. Let's 
Oops, I hope I didn't over torch and it's got stuck on her. It's all right. Phew, it's just a bit of overflow. Oh my gosh, I was worried. A little bit of overflow. All right. Now, there's that one. Clean him off. Let's have a look at inside. Look at the inside. So pretty. Now in the ears, because the ears are so shallow, there's not much, I didn't put, oh there's a little hole there, um, a bubble, I, there wasn't much room for me to lay the clear down first, like it wasn't a very thick layer of clear, so you can see the bubbles, not the bubbles, yeah, the little balls are pretty close to the surface there. So you get a different look in the ear. Oh, they got a bit stuck. But look at them. Aren't they so pretty? I really like these. Little iridescent balls. Now I don't know what colour that was either. Was it purple? Last one. Because I had a pink and a purple, I had a blue. Have we seen the white one yet? Is this the white one? Maybe this is the white one. Oops, it's upside down. This one looks similar to the other two. These three are quite similar. Don't know why. I mean, this one's darker. These two are very similar little bears. Let's have a closer look at this one. Very colorful in there. Maybe this was the clear. Was this the clear one? Because there's lots of different colours in there. I probably need to get it under my um, ring light, my fluoro light. Might try that. Hang on. I tried with the ring light on, but it was just too glary. So this is just over in front of my spotlight. What's that one? And this one. I don't know if it's the shape because this is more rounded, but everything just looks more magnified in this one. Look at his big belly. <laughs> He's a jelly belly. Must it be because it's rounded? Look how big, look how big they look in there. So cute. Just you can see it better. Close up here anyway. I've got you on the closest close up I can be on. So hopefully you can see properly. They're so pretty, aren't they? What do you think? Do you like them? I need to do some cleaning up. I'm gonna have to look back on my video and see which colors which. This one, probably definitely the purple one. I really like this one. This one and the pink one I do like. <laughs> The best. Mm. 
Again, that looks very magnetized in his magnetized, magnified <laughs> in his head there, in his face, because it's round. So cute. Last one. All right, you're probably getting sick of them now, aren't you? And the same, look at his nose. <laughs> Magnified. This one's really cool. I like this one a lot too. So there you go. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I'll find the link for these little iridescent balls and I'll put them down in my description. See, this one had a little bit more clear over its ears. It's got that room there. So these ears look better than these ears. I could have, I should have, could have, should have made the clear a little bit deeper on that one. Love it. Oh, I can't stop looking at them. I'll put a stick of bale on it. I'm not going to do it now. It's too late. It's time for bed. <laughs> I've had such a busy day. Look at his nose. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, hope you've enjoyed my little video again. I really like these. Let me know what else I could put in teddy bears, hey, in these teddy bear molds. They're so much fun. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay. Bye for now.